today I'm really excited because I'm finally going to be able to film with the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie collaboration. I am so freaking excited. I've been waiting for this package for like a week now, so I'm so happy that it's finally here. Before I get started, I want to tell you guys a quick little story. One of my good friends here on YouTube, her name is Alex Alvarez. Um, she actually went to the reveal party um, in LA for Desi and Katie's collaboration and she had told um, Dose of Anna, um, Anna Petrosian, I don't think I'm saying, saying her last name right, but she had told Anna the story of me and my stone liquid lipstick, which I went to brunch with a couple of friends I think a year and a half ago and um, my Dose of Colors stone liquid lipstick just ended up getting stolen <laughs> and I had told um, Alex the story and she actually told Anna the story and Anna ended up sending me a new stone liquid lipstick she signed it and says XO Anna and I'm literally gonna save this box forever I can't believe she sent me this it's so amazing and that just goes to show how humble she is and what a great person she is so not that she'll ever watch this, but um, I just wanted to say thank you and obviously thank you to my friend Alex for telling her the story. This is pretty freaking amazing and I can't believe this happened, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a nerd. So this to me is really, really freaking cool. So quickly, I'm just going to show you guys what I ended up picking up in the collection. Um, obviously, we all know what the box looks like by now. So beautiful. <sighs> nude is my color. I love new lipstick I love new clothes like they did great with this launch like this collaboration is phenomenal I love it so much I haven't even played with it and I think I'm just gonna love it 100% but let's see um so I did end up picking up the highlighter Fuego um Mirame was a little bit too pink and a little bit too dark for me I am a little bit more on the fair side right now so I figured that Fuego was going to be it for me and we have all already seen the packaging, but this packaging is phenomenal. Love it so, so, so much. I'm so excited. Um, next, I picked up the eyeshadow palette. And this is what it looks like. And it has four beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shades. I believe these two right here are meant to be used with. I'm not too sure. I'll actually look at the little pamphlet that they sent with the packaging to see which one has to be used what. And of course, I had to pick up their lip products because you yeah, already know. Um, this packaging right here, like this packaging right here, wow. Matte nude packaging, what the hell? So freaking beautiful. So this is the shade, um, no shade. And I'm just gonna quickly swatch it right here on my hand. And this is what no shade looks like. Kind of like a pinky true nude. So excited for that. I also picked up their gloss, the over the top gloss. It smells divine. Like, it smells so good. And I love that the applicator is the flat doe foot applicator because you could just glide one side and then switch over and glide on the other side. So I really, really, really like this applicator. Let me swatch it here so you guys can see what it looks like. Not that you can, not that you're gonna be able to see like the reflex, but it's literally just a clear, clear, clear gloss with um, different like gold specks in it. And lastly, I picked up one of the liquid lipsticks. This packaging is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I can't get over it. Nude and rose gold, two of my favorite colors. So out of the liquid lipsticks, they have Savage and they have Hot Fire. And I picked up Hot Fire because I am always wearing nudes, and I gotta challenge myself. You know what I mean? So this is hot fire thing I am so 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 excited and who better than to do a collaboration together than Desi and Katie I love them so much okay so I already um, primed my eyes of course and I already did my eyebrows off camera and the shadow palette only has four shades so it doesn't really bring any transition shades so I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette for my transition shades in the tutorial so I'm going to be taking this shade right here and I'm going to just run that across my crease. And I'm going to use Fuego as a little mirror. So I zoomed you guys in a little bit more so you could be able to see the eyeshadows a little bit closer. And I'm just really just dusting this in my crease and buffing it in the outer corner as well. So 
So I would mention the shade, the name of the shades of the Jaclyn Hill palette that I am using. But my palette didn't come with the little clear paper that has all the names of her shades, unfortunately. I think I want to use Noli like all over the lid. Very, very bronzed, maybe. Hmm, let's see. So I want to go in with a little bit of a darker, darker brown to add a little bit of dimension. So I'm going to go in with um, this shade right over here. And I'm just going to apply that in the same places that I applied the first shadow. Just to deepen everything up. That way when we add that Noli shade, we have some dimension. Really just deepening the crease and the inner and outer corner with this shade. That way later when we go in with um, Harpoon, is it? No. With Noli. No lee. Um, it'll stand out a little bit more. So I think that is good for now. Um, let me see if it recommends anything in specific for the Noli shade. New. So Noli is this shade right over here, and it is a true, true, true bronze shade. So this is the shade that I'm going to be applying all over my lid. And I'm just going to go ahead and swirl my finger in there. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this. Let's just. Wow. So this color is definitely, definitely a true, true, true bronze shade, and it actually applied really, really, really good with my fingers. And now I'm just gonna take a clean brush, and I'm gonna make sure I blend the outer corner really well all the way in. On a Morphe E36 and I'm just gonna take a little bit of that Zeus color and I'm gonna use that to highlight my inner corner Ooh, child what is happening so I quickly just want to give you guys an update on how I feel about the palette. So far, I'm loving, loving the palette. Even though I've only used Zeus and Noli, the formula is obviously the same all around except for these two right here. But I really, really, really like the formula. I, I don't know. I really have no complaints. The inner corner highlight looks so, so, so good. Like Zeus looks amazing as an inner corner highlight and as a brow bone highlight as well. And I really, really like the bronze shade, the Noli shade. It's a true, true, true bronze. So it looks really, really nice, especially with the Zeus color as an inner corner highlight. It kind of gives it a great, great contrast. I did go ahead and apply my lashes and my foundation off camera. And then I'm just going to quickly um, do a cream contour um, with the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpt palette in the shade 30. And I'm also going to conceal my under eyes really, really quick. realized that I came back like from doing my foundation and my lashes off camera and I completely forgot to mention what lashes I put on so the lashes that I'm wearing right right now are the flutter lashes um prestige lash so this is how the lashes look and we could already just take a look at the eyeshadow I mean look at the inner corner highlight it looks booming it looks so good I'm just blending out the creases of the concealer and I'm just setting my under eye and to use this, I'm using a Morphe E49 brush. Favorite brush for the under eye ever. For bronzer, I'm going to take the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and Give Me Sun with my e.l.f. Fra flawless with my e.l.f. Fa with my e.l.f. Flawless Face Brush. Well, I'm actually going to mix the first two shades that we use in the eye in the Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette, which was this shade right over here and this shade right over here. 
so if i am able to find the names online i will definitely write the names of the jacqueline hill palette shadows that i used in this tutorial so i'm just gonna go ahead and mix those two shades and i'm gonna run that off through my lower lash line now for the next thing that i picked up in the collection is the fuego highlight i am so excited for this part you guys have no idea so i'm just gonna go ahead and dip my brush right here this is the morphe m310 and we is about to glow up yes wow love this can we just let's just take a moment of silence For this highlight though this highlighter is beautiful wow okay okay desi and katie okay this is i just i can't stop looking at it so i'm gonna go ahead and set my face quickly with the two faced hangover three in one replenishing primer and setting spray every time this thing smells so 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 good so now i'm gonna go ahead and swatch well not swatch i'm gonna go ahead and put on each of the three lip colors that i picked up um just so you guys can see how it looks against this look and so you guys can see how it looks on my skin tone um so i'm first gonna go in with just no shade this is their matte lipstick and it looks so cute they each signed it i love it So on camera, obviously these lights wash a lot of the color out, um, but it probably looks a little bit too too nude on camera. But here in person, that I'm looking at it, I feel like it looks it looks good. I would definitely wear this. I love 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 the color. So on me, it kind of does look a little bit more peachy, but I actually like that. I feel like I don't have anything like this, so I love it. And I feel like my teeth look whiter. So next I'm just going to apply the over the top gloss by itself. I want to see the gold reflexes, how it looks just against the pigment of my lips. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that lipstick. Well, I'm going to go ahead and apply the lip gloss. So this is what my lips look like with just the gloss and... It looks super pretty. It looks super hydrating. It actually feels really, really hydrating. And you can see the gold um, little reflex specks on my lips. So yeah, I actually really like this gloss. Okay, so the last lipstick that I'm going to put on is the Hot Fire Liquid Lipstick. And I am so nervous because I always wear nude lipsticks. And this is the color that I'm leaving on. Like, this is the color that is just, it's staying on with this look because I need to stop wearing nude lipsticks. Okay, so this is the Hot Fire shade on my lips, obviously. And the formula of this liquid lipstick, of course, dose of color is not because of anything, but it really, really does have amazing, amazing liquid lipstick formula. So this just feels so, so comfortable on my lips and it was so easy to apply. I was able to just line my lips with the wand by itself. I didn't have to use a lip liner. And even though I don't really do colors like this i actually like how this looks i feel like when i'm very 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 tan and bronzed this lipstick is going to look so good okay so my thoughts on this collection i really 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 like the entire collection well not the entire collection because this is just what i purchased but i definitely want to purchase savage which is the um vampy liquid lipstick that they have and i also want to purchase more creamer please 
I think that's what it's called. Yes, more creamer, please. Um, but overall, the shadow palette, I really, really loved. This Zeus shade looks so good in the inner corner and in the brow bone highlight. I love it. I love, 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 love this palette. It's so, so good. I'm actually, I think I'm obsessed. Um, I definitely want to go in with these two shades. So I definitely will be doing another tutorial with this collection because I have to use those other two shades. They just, they look beautiful. I absolutely love them. Um, the Fuego highlight. That's all I gotta say. So yeah, guys, that wraps up this video. I'm so happy with how the look turned out and I'm so happy with my purchase. I really, really like everything that I bought and I cannot wait to pick up No Shade and More Creamer, please, because I really, really love the formula of this liquid lipstick and the lipstick as well. And I definitely will be doing another tutorial with this collection because I wanna use those other two shades, as I mentioned before. But yes, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial slash review and my thoughts on these products and this collection. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. I will see you guys next time.